Hey guys, welcome to yet another episode of Let's Go Fishing with Skivens where he doesn't catch any fish because he sucks at fishing. True story. Oh my god, you can't swear on my channel. Oh, well why'd you do that? Why'd you swear? I don't know. Oh, I swear. So, it's so another beauty night guys. Another freaking beauty night. Look at it out there. We've got overcast, so it looks darker than it actually is, but the sun is setting. It is, uh, what, 823? Yeah, the sun will be shutting down very shortly. It'll be dark. The fish will be biting. I'm hoping for a walleye, but, you know, I can hope in one hand and crap in the other. Without further ado, we should probably get some bait on the line and send it. So, pitter patter. Guys, first cast of the day. I don't know why these bugs are attacking me right now, but man, are they ever taking me apart. Dirty Bacchus. All right guys, I'll tune back in if we accidentally hook onto something. All right guys, let me show you a way I found on YouTube on how to start a campfire using cotton and petroleum jelly. I don't know what you're supposed to do with petroleum jelly. I think it's like the treat burns or something, I don't know. But it's very flammable, apparently. Right in there's the hole. So all we'll do is we'll fire that in there. Yeah, get it right in there. And give me a stick or something so I can light one on the stick. Oh, no, it just went through the ring. Did it? Yeah, it's right there. Can I hit it from here? No, but I can. And then put the other one, like, right in here. So we'll make ourselves a makeshift one there, torch. One there. Yeah. See where the hole is right there? Right, right here. Yeah, right in there. Right there. Okay. It's in there. No, oh, did you get the other one? Oh no. Did you want to come do it? Um uh, you can. It's just right there. Put that stick back where you got it. I didn't even touch. Really in there. And I don't know how well you see that, but that'll burn for a while before the wood will catch, and then the wood will catch, and we'll have ourselves a little campfire. We got no s'mores or anything to cook tonight. We just want this to get rid of the mosquitoes because. Adam's a wimp. Shut up. <laughs> Even with the uh, light on here. But we got the fire going, so it's roaring pretty good. And French is going to add some more wood to it. She picked up on the trail back there. Ducks are out. They're being dicks. But that's what they do. I'm going to get back to fishing. So far, two rock bass nibbled. Well, you had one and I had one. I had a little guy nibble my line. I just didn't tell you because I didn't want to get you excited. Oh, shut your mouth. Well, guys, I caught a fish. I actually, I actually caught a fish. And now I'm just trying to take the hook out of his face. That's pretty good. A little smally. There goes that light. Oh, no, no, no. And have a swim, bud. Obsessive with the water now. That's a good fish, and he's got a lot of fight. Lid. Oh. Here. You got it? Yeah, the lid's right here. Gonna have to find a better way to hang this light. But, guys, yeah, first small bus and small month of the day. I thought he let go. Sorry, I didn't have the GoPro on, guys. I'm a real bad what? YouTuber. I have it on now, but I didn't have it on oh. for the fight because. I thought that I was reaching for the GoPro and I'm like, I better not, I better just fight this guy because if I don't, I'm gonna lose him like I did every other fish last week. Oh, you're killing me. Got one. Guys, we're gonna have a catch clean cook. I got an idea for him. I'm allowed one more. I am so buying a better friggin' license next year. All right, guys, we got fish on. Oh, 
Oh, he's a good one. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Take it easy, Carlos. Can't help oh. you from flapping. Car oh, Carlos. Too much. Oh, Carlos. No, no, Carlos. <laughs> he's a big one. Hey, Holy hey, fuck. Hey, hey, easy. <laughs> oh, Carlos. Yeah. Yeah, just take his rip. That's a bigger one. Is that bigger? Oh, no. Maybe about the same size. That's Look at that guy. I want a picture. Look at that guy. He's cute. Hey, so that's Carlos. We both caught one. Yay. And I just beefed up my worm. Hey, buddy. Your dinner. Sweet, man, that's awesome. Hey, Josephine, meet Carlos. Jesus, you got me wet. Well, because there's two of us, we're allowed two more. Yep. So let's send it. All right, guys, just got home. We uh, decided to call it because the bugs were getting surprisingly bad. On another note, my friend ran out of line on her rod uh, and then got a snag, which means she's really low on line on her rod. Um, she needs to put some new line on her fishing rod for tomorrow night. Now they're calling for a storm tomorrow. What the hell kind of a bug is that? Freaking earwig. Anyway, they're calling for a storm tomorrow. Uh, not sure if we're gonna be fishing or not. All depends on the weather. Like if it's just spitting, then yeah, definitely. I'll just put on a sweater, like a hoodie or something and go out and throw lines and rip lips. If for some reason it's completely kiboshed, I wonder what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a knife other than my knife that I'm gonna to use to cut the fish. Because I don't need a dull, an already dull knife. All right, well, forget it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do what I gotta to do to get shit did around here. I'm gonna do what we always do. We're just gonna rip this paper. Good enough right there. Who knew that this paper that I bought to do the Trans Am window and masking would come in handy for cleaning fish? I sure as hell never did. Oh, do you guys like the new uh, Catch Clean Cook table? It's that old piano stand that was outside by the garage. Yep. Yeah. Recycle, reduce, reuse, boys. Take that to the bank. I'll let that sit in Maronite. That's all I do. Just coat it in the papier. There's some really nice catch clean cook tables you can get off of the uh, internet that have like a built-in sink and stuff. You just run a garden hose to it. God, I'd love to get one of those. Come to the conclusion that bass are the most resilient fish on the face of the earth. I thought I'd dispatch these guys by hitting them in the head with a hammer and they bounce back literally if they yeeted themselves off the table. So I grabbed them, put them back on the table, shanked them in the head with a knife. Look at this guy. He's still freaking giving her. I don't... Are these zombie fish? I don't know guys. I'm gonna go ahead and clean these guys up and uh, get them in a salt brine. I can't believe it. This guy here is twitching now. What the frig, man? Just stay dead. <laughs> oh man. Fishing with newbies givens. Yeah. I don't know what the hell was going on with those fish, but they just would not stay dead. And then when I was cleaning them, I forgot that there's a nerve ending on the back of the tail. That um, it happened to me before, where if you tap it, the fish will twitch. I tapped it. The fish twitched. Holy crap. That scared the snot out of me. Uh, it's a shame you can't film the cleaning because I'm sure a lot of you would have loved amateur hour out there. But anyway, guys, I'm going to... See what tomorrow's like, maybe go fishing. If we don't go fishing again, we're gonna use what we got here to uh, catch, clean, cook. We're gonna do a cook, a fry, we're gonna do it right. And I wanna try something that I saw someone do, but this time we're gonna do it with oil. So we're gonna have to go to the grocery store at some point tomorrow, pick up oil, and we're gonna do it in a pan. So I'll do it and they actually use the same pan I have this stupid thing, the copper. It doesn't have a non-stick coating. You can use metal on it. So on, so forth. So that's what we're gonna do tomorrow, is we're gonna go fishing, see if we can catch anything else, just for the sake of going fishing, because fishing's fun. And then uh, we're gonna do a little fish fry probably afterwards, so. All right, well, I don't know why I'm saying stay tuned because it's all in the same video. Anyway guys, I'll talk to you later. I'm a little tired. It's 11.30.
I think I'm gonna hit the hay. See you tomorrow. The day two of fishing with Skivens, where a fish accidentally get caught on his hook and get pulled in the shore and brought in for eats. Anyway, back at the exact same spot, the wall. Uh, I found something to use as a backpack. You guys maybe remember this from previous vlogs. It's a uh, cooler bag that I got when I bought 24 cans it's of beer. Line on my rod. And um, yeah, she finally put her line on her rod, so there you go. Uh, so we got this here for a backpack. It doesn't fit the tackle box, so I'm using my old tackle box. And for a lighting solution back here on the tree, I um, pegged a piece of metal in, and it actually holds the magnetic lights now, so that's pretty sweet. So is that gonna like lighten up the entire area? No, but it will break the darkness, which will be nice. So, I got my lighting and camera gear. I'm gonna get myself set up with a worm on the hook. Um, I brought the world's shittiest saw to cut up wood. It's working pretty good for me. Look at that, it's not wobbling. Okay, well, there you go. Oh, no, I supposed to be Yeah, see, you jinxed yourself. Way to go. And we're going to uh, do a fire tonight. The storm that was supposed to hit at 10 seems to have moved elsewhere, so we're not gonna get hit now until about one which is fine because we normally quit doing this by around 10 anyway. So, all right, well, let's get set up because we won't catch fish with a hook out of the water. All right, guys, let's send it out there. Got a worm on the hook. First cast of the day. Let's hope for a bass and not a freaking sheep's head. Have it, guys. I had a fish on. It was like a, I don't know, it looked like a bass. It was a bass. It flopped on top of the water like a yeah, okay, so it was a bass. Uh, I had a fish on, but this little jank freaking jig head's garbage, and it pretty much let him go. So this thing's got to go. I got to use something that's a little bit thicker gauge on the on the hook because uh, this one here is bending. So I don't know if you guys remember these these wire cutters. You know, I should get some light on the situation here. Uh, these wire cutters. These are the ones that I got from my vaping kit. I don't vape anymore, but it turns out they're they're great for cutting fishing line. A lot of people use um, toenail clippers too. You know what? Toenail clippers. I said, you know what? That would work. Oh, I use it all the time. That's what I did today when I was uh, changing the line on my rod. So we're going to go with this lime green jobby. It's got a thicker hook on it. Let me see how with the size of the jig head. Yes, yeah, much better. So, problem is, is they dip these, right? So... Oh no, I can do the eye hole, it's not a problem, I just use another jig head. So what I'll do is I'll take old, uh, old stupid here, this tiny little hook, and you just kind of rip it right through the, the eye of the jig, and move it around. I gotta get back out there, I know where he is. There could be a school near him. I'm pissed off. I knew I should have changed out this stupid jig head. <laughs> oh well, you live, you learn, right? We already got two. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this here tied on, and then uh, we'll get back at her. All right, guys. Before fishing starts, let's get this fire started. So I got more of these petroleum, petroleum cotton swabs. Also, stuff from vaping that I no longer use. Um, I'd rather use cotton balls for this because it's just better. But hey, you know what? Use what you got, got what you use, whatever that means. Okay, so, trying to figure out where the hell, uh, yeah. I guess we'll just shove one under there. Do you need me to lay it? And the other one I want to use a torch, I need a stick. Come here, you. They're doing music again over there, eh? That might be actually very nice. Make sure I soak up as much as that petroleum jelly as possible. Like, guys, this here just goes up. It just ignites like a like a marshmallow. I don't know if I'm on it or not. Yeah, you are. Did it light? Yep. I have to get this one way under there. I don't know if that's gonna catch. I could see I got a good angle going. So. And I got paper towel in there, so. Worst case, Ontario. I got bugs right. Oh, yeah. I don't have mine. 
Ah, uh, my bag, I got two. So we got a decent like amount of coming. wood oh, there. Oh, we got tons of wood. We got you these can even reburnt the burnt wood, which is awesome. Yeah, so we're pretty much set for a nice fire tonight. And like I said, this weather you see, you know what, let's grab another Instagram, boys. <laughs> Let's do another one of these. Let's grab a beauty day in the bay. Little Insta. All right. Send it, boys. Just send it. Just doing things, and it's getting dark out. But as you can see, the light over there is attached to the tree. It lights up this area okay. Um, what I wanted to do was, uh, there's these little holes in the ground, like there's that one right there. I'm thinking I might bring a piece of metal and peg it in, and that way there we can hook up those lights over here and illuminate the, the rock while we're fishing. Because that's one of the problems is, is 8, 840, what is it right now? It's 850 right now. And it's this dark, and it just gets darker and darker as time goes on. So, it'd be... You guys all right out there? Yeah? Okay. They're pissed. It'd be nice if we can get this area illuminated a bit more so we can stay out here and fish a bit longer. Especially in September and October before, you know, Mother Nature decides to do her thing where she makes everything white and cold. Anyway, back to fishing. Or feeding the fish, whatever. He uses a weed. Oh my god, look at him, he's out. Whoa. Oh, okay. Look like an eel there in the in the water. Let's get a good video of this guy. Just a rock bass. Look, look at this little guy. Get the rocky. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to take him yep. off or? Yeah. Don't flail. I got you. Thank you, Worm. Thank you. I don't want to hook you. Hmm. All right, Leonard. Back you go. Tell your mom we're looking for her. See ya. He, he, he swam off, right? He's oh, yeah. stupid. He just ran right into the wall. What a dummy. The weather's changing. It's starting to rain. So we're going to get the hell out of here before it really starts coming down. Yeah, it's it's starting there. It's starting to pick up. I saw this cloud coming in, guys. It was green. I didn't think it was going to be that big of a threat. Oh, I thought, you know, well, I saw it, but it didn't look like it. I usually don't consider the green ones a problematic situation because, well, no, 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 when I'm looking on the radar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because like, 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 there was a green, sure. there was a green system coming in and I was like, ah, that's not going to be that big of a deal because the last time I listened to a green system, it was, it, nothing happened and I missed out on a whole day of biking. I'd be done now if it wasn't for stupid weather network and Google. So, so it's like now, I, now I see the green ones, and by Google guys, I mean the Google hockey puck. I ask it if it's gonna rain, and it's like, oh yes, it's totally gonna pass, but then it doesn't, and I'm like, way to go, Google, you suck. It's probably because she uses AccuWeather, and AccuWeather is not accurate. So that's okay. We still got two bass. I'll fill it up. Uh, Probably gonna need to go to Walmart to scoop up some supplies for the cook, but I might go tomorrow instead to Food Basics and do that. Grab it there, cause I don't know if Walmart, lately Walmart's pricing has been pretty shit. Anyway guys, I'll talk to you later. We can't see anything right now, it's pretty dark out. It's also very, very humid out, which is not awesome. It is a whole bucket of suck. Everything's soaked. Uh, let's go over to the passenger side and grab the cooler bag. Also, we grabbed, uh, we went to Walmart because I, uh, they always have deals on potato chips and that's part of the cooking for the fish. I'll grab that after. Just gonna grab this here. Yeah, we got some Doritos. Scratching up my truck, don't worry about it. It's fine. Paid for it. I can scratch it if I want to. We're gonna use Doritos. It's a thing I saw on YouTube done by the one and only Ace Videos. And it looks so yummy that I had to take him up on his offer to give it a try because he literally said, guys, if you have a chance to try this, give it a try. You won't be upset. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to give it a try. 
and hopefully not be upset. So that cooler bag worked great for a backpack. I got everything in there, a saw, a hammer, <laughs> my, my tackle, my baits, everything. I can even throw this bait in there if I wanted to. It's perfect. My lights, everything's in there. If it had a little side pocket on it, I could put my lighter in there, my knife. Be ready to go. It'd be pretty sweet. So, so we won't be using this tonight because my bass broke off the hook because the stupid freaking hook I was using was uh, way too weak sauce. Hey, let me see. Uh, I almost went into that tackle box to show you. Let's see if we can get this here thing. Let's get my tackle box out here and I'll show you what I was working with. Ouch. Okay, I don't need to bring this anymore because I don't want to bring this. This saw was completely bunk. Just garbage. Complete poo poo caca pee pee. Did not do her manure one bit. Tell me I didn't leave my tackle box back there. Okay. But yeah, I think I kept the jig head. I don't know why. Oh yeah, because I wanted to show you guys just how mangled it got. This is the one that I caught my bass on last night. I don't know how well you can see it. But if you notice, it's actually coming out of the lead. And this metal... This... The fish literally had it straightened. Like, this was out here. Like, this here was, like, up here. It was, like... It's garbage. I know a guy who melts these things down and rebuilds them. So I hang on to them, because he can put it in his lead pot and give her. I also don't need to bring a hammer out next time. Mind you, it's a good way of dispatching the, uh, the, the guppies. You just give them a quick <laughs> on the head and it's game over. But, we'll put that back over here. <sighs> That's another project. That's another project. I keep telling myself that. But, everything else in here can stay in here. I'm going to put my tackle back because I don't need to leave it out. Alright, so... Kind of sucks we didn't catch any fish tonight, but guys, we do have, wow, we do have a lot of fish remaining uh, for this here cook-off. So it's not like we're, we're frigged out of fish. We have 200 grams of bass, and tomorrow I got to do groceries because I still need to buy oil for the fish cooking, as well as uh, getting food for the week. So I may pick up some extra fish while I'm out. Get some tilapia or some cod or something. It's usually pretty cheap at the grocery store. We'll pick up some of that and maybe make a huge fish fry tomorrow night with the Doritos. And I gotta pick up eggs for egg dredge. I don't think egg whites will work. I think you need the whole egg in order to make it work. I don't see anybody doing it with just egg whites. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna sign up for tonight and then... Uh, Tomorrow we'll do the cook-off, so stay tuned. All right guys, today is the day of the great cook. And I shit my pants. Um, today we're gonna be cooking, my God is still going. I might need to redo that intro. Anyway, today we're gonna be cooking that fish. Um, but before we even do any cooking, I need to go to the grocery store and pick up stuff to cook with. Found him. <clears throat> oh guys, I'm so glad today I'm not biking. It's raining out right now, so that's okay. But um, I need my ball cap. My freaking knees are shot. My right knee hurts like you would not believe. And my left knee is joining in. Like just putting on my shoes was a challenge. So super glad that today is a relaxed day. Sit around, cook some fish, eat it. But before we can cook fish, I need some things. I need oil, I need uh, egg, I have flour, and the breading we're gonna be using is actually Doritos. I saw this here on Ace's Ace videos, as I mentioned previously, and it looked freaking awesome. So I figured we would give her a go. So without further ado, let's head over to Food Basics. And I figure while we're there, we can get our groceries done for the week. So let's pitter patter and have at her. All right, we're at Food Basics. Let's go get some noms. All right, guys, we are home. We got groceries. I bought extra fish. Why? I don't know. Look at it. It's like super sunny out. Totally could be biking right now, but my knee is shot. Like when I was putting on my shoes a while ago, I, I, I hated life. Like I actually legitimately hated life. My right knee wanted to buckle under the stress of supporting my weight. So I think we need to take a little pause for the cause on the biking for today. Jump back out there tomorrow and bang it out. I need two hands to carry these groceries, guys. So I'm going to put the camera away real quick and then we'll chime back in once we're inside. All right, guys, we're just about ready to get going on the fry. 
I just want to get a little bit of a cleanup going here. Clean up my work area. Pretty bad. I need to do some work in my kitchen. Organize in here too. I already did the garage. Now it's time to get this all straightened out. Anyway, let me get to it. I'll show you what we got for ingredients. All right, guys, got my stove all cleaned up. Basically, this is what we're dealing with. Uh, I still gotta get the flour out, but we got 200 grams of fresh lake caught bass and whatever many grams of tilapia, because it was on sale. We're gonna fry this up using egg wash, flour, and Doritos. So let's get going on this. Alrighty, so tonight we'll be frying with some vegetable oil. Just gonna use this pan here. Pop her open. Oh, it's one of these pull tabs. All right, so we're just gonna pour in some oil. Glug, glug, glug. Good enough. Oh, we'll add a little bit more. Okay, now good enough. Now for the Doritos, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use them in the Ninja. I'm going to blend them up, and that way there we can get them fine grind. I was originally gonna just fire them inside of the Ziploc bag and punch the living crap out of it, but I decided that the other idea is better. So I went ahead and took out like half the bag and put them into a bowl that I could seal. I'm gonna crush up the rest while it's in the bag to make it easier to transport into the cup to be pulverized in the blender. If this doesn't work, I'll just go one step further and grab my food processor. But for now, what we'll do is we'll try this out, see if the shaker cup blender thing can dustify this. Fire in the hole. I would say that makes a good blender. And by blender, I mean a good blended what are these? This is the cool, oh yeah, this is definitely the cool ranch. You can definitely, oh, you can definitely smell it. Okay, I'm gonna put this into a Ziploc bag. Got our flour here, we got our fish here. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is we have four bass fillets, one per side of each bass, and we have one, two, three, four tilapia fillets. We're gonna do two tilapia in there, two bass in there, and then we're gonna flip, and then we're gonna do the same with the zesty morden. Uh, I did buy eggs because I was told that egg wash doesn't work well with egg whites. You need the whole egg, so I need a container. You know what? Good enough. I'm going to start cracking some eggs and then we'll whisk, whisk them up. And we got ourselves egg wash. That'll probably do. Four eggs should be more than enough. I don't think we need the shell in there though. So here's one of the fillets. What I'm gonna do, because it's a little wet, some people pat it down, however I was advised, just take it, throw it in the flour, coat it in the flour really well, and then fire it into your egg wash. Let it really suck that up. And then open up your Zippy Lock bag and fire your fish directly into it. Seal it up, give it a shake. Just like you used to do that chicken back in the day, shake and bake chicken. Coat the fillet nicely. And you are ready to chuck it into the pan. Now I'm not sure if the oil is ready yet. One of the ways I say to test is to grab a little bit of flour and spritz it on. If it does that, she's golden. Let's go ahead and grab this fillet here. Look at that. And we'll Chuck it in, let it do its thing. Isn't that beautiful? All right guys, the first zesty Morton, or no, that's the Cool Ranch fish is done. I just threw another one in here and we're running low on Doritos, but that's okay because what I might do is just try a traditional batter. I got one of the tilapias soaking over there. Um, doesn't take long to cook in oil, that's for sure. I like this. I thought maybe I'd want a deep fryer, like I kind of gave mine away. I had a deep fryer, but I gave it to my brother because I never intended on using it. And that seems to be the theme of my life is I give away things and then go, shit, I could totally use that now. I'm glad I didn't keep it because um, deep fried food is not exactly the best for you. Like the best way to, to prepare fish is not the way I'm doing it. The best, like obviously it's the most tastiest way of preparing fish, but the best way to prepare fish, everybody knows, is you bake it. And we have one more tilapia here, which I'm just gonna egg wash and flour this one. I think that might be the uh, the ideal solution. You know what, no, we got some more of that shit left. Okay, we're gonna try and coat it in the rest of the Doritos. We're going to flour it. I'm gonna need more flour. I still got another batch of fish to do, guys. Oh man, it's gonna be so much fish for supper tonight. I'm so anxious. I love fish. Like I could eat this every damn day 
and not feel sad. I don't know many people who can do that. I know there are people out there that every meal has to be different. Only reason why I know that's a thing is because my mom is one of them. <laughs> she doesn't like eating the same thing all the time. That's why when we were kids growing up, we always had something different for supper every night. But honestly, myself, now that I'm living on my own, and well, I've been living on my own since 2006, but what I'm saying is I could have the same thing a couple nights in a row and it doesn't even phase me. You know what, I think I didn't get any on here. I got a little bit. You know what, I'm gonna re-flower dunk this, get it really nice and coated. This is gonna be one hell of a battered piece of fish. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Sure is messy though, eh? Sure is freaking messy. Okay, so just like we did with the uh, ranch, take the zesty, really massage them down to a fine pulp. Create a funnel. Apparently I saved more of the zesty mordants than I did the other kind. I gave Oreo one to see what he would make of it. He seemed to enjoy it. Look, you can tell. Look at the stupid face. Uh, this is all dried off. I had to wash it because it got caked. And into the blender she goes. And obviously problems are occurring. So we got a zzz, boom, breading. I wonder if you use that breading in say a meatloaf, how that would turn out. I'm just putting that out there. Anybody want to give it a try? Write me a comment, let me know. That'd be kind of sweet. First, oh, I just made a super mess. I'm awesome. Get you into the flour. All nice and coated up. That's a good piece of fish. Get you into the dredge. And then you into, just pinch it off. And shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake and freaking bake. Shake and freaking bake. I now see why people buy deep fryers and catch fish all the time. Then put said fish, fish in the fryer. That's the best damn fish I ever had in the history of having fish on this channel. Wait, did I ever have a better fish? I don't know. This is interesting. The zesty mordant is causing a foam effect on the oil. I'm not sure what's going on here. This is the Cool Ranch. It turned it out just looking like regular store-bought fish. But this is weird. I don't know. Should still be good. I know this is fantastic. I've been picking at it a little bit here and there. And like, this is just outstanding. Mm hmm. But this is weird. Like, okay, well, I'm gonna put it on the plate anyway. It's cooked. It's just, I don't understand why the oil's foaming up. I didn't do that with the uh, Cool Ranch, just did it with the Zesty Mordant. All right, well, I got those tilapias back here. I'm just gonna do one of these at a time because they're pretty big fillets. Tilapia, also known as saltwater drum. I think a, a better strat for doing this would have been to fire all the fish into the bag and go because the first round of fish went in, but then there was egg that got in there and it kind of messed up the entire shake and bake process. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see what, how it turns out in the end. But we're gonna have a lot of fish and I'm okay with that. Mm. Guys, you gotta try this, freaking awesome. So guys, obviously you don't have to use Doritos only. I've seen this done with like sour cream and onion chips, salt and vinegar chips, ketchup chips, all dressed chips. I've even seen it done with flour and somebody went all in and threw this stuff. The kernels, popcorn kernel uh, flavoring stuff to it and said that the flavor came out amazing. Uh, only reason why I chose Doritos is because that is my poison of choice. Um, when it comes to potato chips, or I shouldn't say potato chips, when it comes to a junk food, Doritos is what I usually reach out to all the time. I love the crunch, I love the taste. Zesty Mordant is my go to. The zesty, I like to pronounce the French portion too, the Mordant. I like to pronounce it because it's funny. Because people go, Oh, what the hell flavor is that? I've only ever had zesty, and I'm like, Yeah, same. And then it throws them off, and but. Yeah, Zesty is my favorite. Speaking of Zesty, let's see if we can get this uh, piece of the Zesty fish going here. Oh, that is weird, but not in a bad way. It's like biting into a piece of bass, but being introduced with the Dorito. Like, if you were to make a, a fish s'more, we'll say, and you go like, 
Dorito fish Dorito, and then you shoved it in your face hole, that's what that tastes like. That is so cool. That is so neat. That's a lot of fish. I'm so anxious. I'm gonna see if Oreo likes it. That is not too hot. Um, that's a little bit hot for him. Let's let that cool down a bit, and then we'll get Oreo to be uh, a taste tester. Not yet, buddy. Not yet. Sit. Nicely. What do you think? What do you think? Is it good? You having problems? Did you fire it under the stove? Is it gonna rot and attract mice? Did you get it? Here, move. <laughs> oh, okay. You got it. I was gonna move him out of the way and move it into the middle of the floor. You got it. So you like it? Is it good? Is it good? I'd say that means it's good. All right, we can turn off this oil. We are freshly out of fish to cook. Now that the job of getting it out of this pan, it's coming out in pieces. Whatever. Oh man, it's just flaking apart. Kind of wanted to keep the zesty off of the Cool Ranch, but you can't win them all, boys. You can't win them all. Okay, I'm going to take this hot oil off the element. Let's head upstairs, get ourselves a drink, and let's go and enjoy a massive plate of fish. We got ourselves a massive plate of fish here. You want to know how it tastes, and I can already tell you. It's freaking amazing. That was a good idea, uh, a very good idea. You guys at home, if you like the fish and catch fish, and you do the breading in the deep fryer, try breading it in Doritos, or corn chips, or potato chips. Get your favorite brand, smash them up, blend them up, use them as the breading instead of like a fish batter. Mmm. That's some good shit right there. Anyway, people, I'm gonna shut this video down. Gonna eat my fish, watch some TV, probably get to bed early tonight. Tomorrow's another day, so hopefully you enjoyed this three day long video. Started Friday, ended Sunday. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, guys, stay safe. Skivens out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.